Who wants to say the bit with the what's in my bag and stuff? Well, Should we say it all together? I'm Charlie and I'm in Black Country New Road and I'm in Amoeba. Hi, I'm May. I'm Luke. I'm Tyler. Hello, I'm Lewis. I'm in Black Country New Road. We're Black, Black Country New Road, Road at Amoeba. And this, and is, this, is, this, what's in this my bag. is what's in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the top I'll go first, I'm on first. top of the pile. I've got Out of the Blue by Out of the Blue. I don't know this record at all, but it's got Kenny Garrett on it, who's a favorite sax player of mine, probably. Quite inspiring to me when I was like learning to play the saxophone. I like his sound a lot. I want to sound like him as much as possible, wherever possible. So yeah, this is a, like an early kind of group that he was in. And I don't actually know any of the other players on this. But yeah, looking forward to this. My first choice is the new Jana Sternberg record. I'll let you be because I've got me. I really liked their first uh, EP or record, I'm not sure which one it is, and this one is just as good, if not better. It's um, sad, <laughs> but good. <laughs> you go first, you got the most. Okay, the first things in my bag, we've got Rebel and Debussy string quartets. These are bangers and then I've also got Liszt Piano Concerto number one and Schumann Piano Concerto in A minor. So we'll see what Peter Caton has in store. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's in your bag? First thing I have is the unicorns who will cut our hair when we're gone. I really like the songwriting on it. Like, they use really classic chord progressions, but then there's always like one surprising extra thing that happens. And like every song is like, it's got so many moments, it will move on to the next section and then there'll be like another one and another one without being more than like three or four minutes long, which is pretty cool, I think. This is yeah, and it sounds really cool. So. Cool. So, Haven't listened to that. Also, it's Ted Mosby's favourite album. It how is. I that's, that's how I know it. Just how I first heard of it. <laughs> the unicorns who will cut our hair when we're gone. I have never met anyone else who has this album. A little bit bait, but Nina Simone is one of my favourites. This is the first Nina Simone record I ever bought, just by luck. Just a random pick when I was younger. I Love to Love was my favourite song on the album. Yes, I love to love. So therefore it's my favorite because it holds a lot of nostalgia for me. And this record, I recently got into this song, What More Can I Say? I would go anywhere, anywhere you go. Made me think of my other half. It's very romantic and sad and beautiful. <laughs> there we go. Rosalia, El Mal Querer. This is the first Rosalia album that I got into um, and it's just really, really good. I don't know, the production style is very cool um, and I really like the songs a lot and obviously she's just quite iconic. Is so, there yeah. a particular song on there that you like a lot? Um, the opener. Cap one, Algorio. I guess my next record is uh, Modest Mouse. This is a long drive for someone with nothing to think about.
Uh, I really like the production on the album. I think it's so good. I think just like the way the band play and the way that it's like produced just sounds incredible. It just kind of all sounds like it's like held together with string. I said what I said and you know what I mean. But I still can't focus on Is it Johnny Marr era? No. Was he in Modest Mouse? Yeah, he was in Modest Mouse. I think he was in Modest Mouse after, maybe a couple after this record. Right, okay, cool. But yeah. It's just a brilliant album. And, um, Johnny Ma. Johnny Ma. Yeah, I love it. It's great. I'll go with maybe the kind of bread and butter of my <laughs> <laughs> existence. Kind of existence. <laughs> I maybe listen to this sometimes both in a day. Every day. Every day. I think Time as a Symptom might be one of my favourite songs ever. I think it's a good one for when someone dies, I would recommend it. And then obviously, have one on me. Have one on me. <laughs> Maybe you should do Van Dyke parts. Yeah, yeah, actually, that's, that's a, a good, good transition. Segue, yeah. You don't have the album that he arranged here, but he did arranged East, I think it's pronounced, you know, yes. the other album of hers. But I can be coming down right sick and I really like Van Dyke Parks. He writes really cool melodies and mm. crazy kind of Disney-ish arrangements and like loads of chromaticism and like weird kind of hip, like jumpy stuff. And I've never seen this before. It's but a cool cover. I've not heard of any of the songs on it. And it says, dedicated to my mother, Mary Joy, who taught me to read, which I think is quite <laughs> cool. Uh, I think it's maybe like kind of a children's score story thing. It's got a lot of Beatrix Potter style characters on it. So I don't know, I'll check it out, see what it's like. It's I'm gonna bash out three because they all connect. So I wanted to get the first Roaches album, which wasn't here, but the third one is, which I've never listened to. The Roaches are one of my favorite groups at the moment and are very inspirational, I think, for current and future sounds of BCNR. This is actually 199. The reason I came across the Roaches was because I found the first album in a one pound box, but it was so scratched that I didn't listen to the album. And then I kind of forgot about it. And then a year later, my dad told me about it. And I was like, shit, I've got that. And listened to it. And Hammond's song is actually like one of the best songs of all time. I'm all So that's that. Robert Fripp produced this and he did that epic guitar solo on Hammond song. Which leads me to King Crimson <laughs> because I nearly got this the other day and I didn't and I regretted it. Red, which has, I think, a perfect rock song on it. Red. And when I was finding this, I came across this beautiful little thing. Peculiar little boy. Um, <laughs> it has live 2017 version of Red on it. <laughs> Who knows whether it will be any good, but the cover was good. So uh, I'll take that. Thank you very much. I've gone for... Daniel Ro Rosen, 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 with Rosen, with <laughs> You Belong Here, You Belong There. I really like this album a lot. When it came out, I actually just banged it out and was like constantly listening to it over and over again. It's, uh, it's really expansive, great writing lovely arrangements. Um, and I think it kind of got, uh, I mean, people liked it, but I think it got slightly 
went a bit under the radar maybe. I think it, this could have been massive and it unfortunately wasn't as massive as it <laughs> Where did it Was it a couple be. of years ago? 2021. Yeah. Awesome. It is a good record. This place control. But I've got one more record and it's, you guessed it, Instrumentals by Arthur Russell. It's got a different cover to the other Instrumentals um, album by his, it's on Spotify, but I guess that has Tower of Meaning on it as well. Which at one point was going to be the name of Black Country New Road. Really? Yeah. Shit, I don't know. That was in the... Okay, cool. Yeah. That would have been a pretentious first name. Yeah. <laughs> which I guess it is already <laughs> anyway. It already yeah. is, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's a great album. I listen to this on flights. But I can't ever remember really which one. I remember the first bit of volume two is really good. I can't really remember what uh, sketch for Face of Helen is like. Sick name for a song. Yeah, such a good name for a song. I don't know, it's just like musically, it just all sort of sits together really nicely and really well. It's very like neatly arranged. Thanks, Arthur. Russell? I've just got a few that I haven't listened to that I'm intrigued by. The songs of Robert Burns, I think. Yeah, sounds interesting. Persian <laughs> <laughs> Underground. Sounds interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is a mandolin and guitar ensemble. I, I think that would be really nice. I've got uh, Judy Sill, Heart Food, which is an amazing album. Uh, I think we all love that album. The music is incredible. Uh, it's produced in kind of a weird way, like her voice yeah. is always double tracked in some kind of strange way, and it's like really haunting. And yeah. I don't know, it's kind of like makes me feel uncomfortable, like this whole record almost, but at the yeah. same time, it's like achingly beautiful, yeah, it's yeah. like, it's crazy. I was wondering, listening to it, whether it was just like the weird production on the vocals that was making me like, feel strange. Mm. But then I found a video of her doing The Kiss, mm. I think at the BBC. Yeah, the and it's like, still really affecting, it's like crazy. And it's just her playing piano and singing, yeah. it's like, mm. incredible. Just to show me how to give my heart we all like this, clearly. It's really cool. And great album cover as well. Album cover. I've got a candle, Beyonce candle, or Bay Once. Um, <laughs> and uh, that's for kind of daily uh, ambiance and inspiration. Nice. <laughs> and then there's an Eminem poster lurking in the background. For the van. Yeah, this is for the van, I think. Often, we don't take as many risks as we could do. Yeah. As a band. Yeah. So we decided maybe we should have it to inspire us. Thanks. <laughs> I've got this poster as well. Me and Tyler picked this out. Um, oh, cool. I've got a wall in my house where we used to have this cool painting, but it's gone now. <laughs> and all of my housemates like the Beatles and one of them likes boxing, so pretty good. Yeah, thanks Amoeba. Thanks Amoeba. That was, in, that was in my bag. That was two of our bags. Thank, Thank you so much you. for coming in today. It was we really, really fun. appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you for having us. Thank you. My pleasure.